What is up, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics. You guys already know what it is. Today I'm back with a brand new video. Free Agent Player Preview Series, Episode 2, Roger Saffold. Let's get right into it. So if you guys haven't heard of it already, there is a Buffalo Fanatics Discord chat. It's a lot of fun. It's blowing up. It's popping right now. Literally anything Bills related, topics, discussion, it's a lot of fun. And click the link in the description. It'll take you guys there. Also, if you guys have Instagram, please don't be afraid to follow me at Elite Fanatic. I post there literally every single day on my story, and it's a lot of fun. So go check me out. So I've decided that actually once I hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, I'm going to be doing a live Q&A over there on Instagram. So go follow me. You'll be able to ask me some personal questions, maybe some bills related questions. I don't really care. You guys come up with the questions. So go follow me now. But without any further introduction, let's get right into the video. So Roger Saffold, he's 30 years old, he's 6 foot 5, and he's 325 pounds. Now there's just one hitch in all of this. He wants to re-sign. He wants to re-sign with his Los Angeles Rams that went to the Super Bowl and went 13 and three last year. He wants to get a ring. The big boy wants to get a ring. I can respect that. I understand that. But are the Rams gonna pay him the big bucks to stay on the team? Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, if he hits free agency, the Bills could, you know, say, okay, I'm ready to spend some money here. They go out and they try to get him. Well, the thing is, there's a couple things to think about here. The Bills play the Patriots twice a year. They could say, hey, you lost in the Super Bowl. How about you beat him in the regular season? Knock him out of winning the division for once and let us take that spot for once. You know, get the revenge on him. Also, some similarities between the Rams and the Bills are that Allen and Goff are pretty young quarterbacks, both got somewhat of an arm, can throw deep. You know, maybe that type of player ha has a very big impact of, okay, well, I'm used to playing behind a guy like this, maybe not as mobile, but still, you know, and that might be a reason why he might want to come here. The Rams and the Bills also have very, very good defenses. It makes sense. They don't have to worry about, you know, the defense. The defense is on lockdown. I mean, it's on shutdown. Like, you cannot do anything against our defense, if you know what I'm saying. We were second in the league last year, so it's got to make free agents on the offense feel better. Hey, I just come in, do my part, and I know the defense is taken care of. Now, he's a very, very solid player. He played all 16 games last season with the Rams, and he's considered to be one of the best interior offensive linemen in this free agency class. Now, we do have an offensive lineman pending free agent in John Miller. We might be able to let him walk if we got Roger Saffold, which obviously would be a major upgrade and it would be more expensive, but it'd be worth it. We could also re-sign Miller and get Saffold and Wyatt Teller might be able to develop underneath a veteran type player. Personally, I think it's very unlikely for us to sign him. I'm still doing this because there's a lot of you guys out there who really wanted to hear more about Roger Saffold. Hey, what about him? You know, I keep hearing his name, one of the best guys. Well, here it is. I think he would have a huge impact on our offensive line. Any veteran or really, really good free agent or even maybe a player in the draft, you know, any of these guys really could help us. We, the only place we can go is up from here, if you know what I'm saying. So any guy, any guy, maybe not Spencer Long, uh, but, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Any of these guys might be really, really helpful for us in the next season and then beyond. One of the biggest problems with the Bills last year was the protection. Maybe if we could somehow be a car dealership salesman and just say, listen, you are the missing piece. You are the missing piece. You get to have your revenge against the Patriots. You get to help the young quarterback develop, you know, and really build something here in Buffalo that hasn't been done in a very, very long time. Maybe, just maybe, if you can sell it to him, he might join the team for a substantial amount of money. And I think that that would be huge to have a guy that you say that position, we don't even have to worry about. Now, why does this make sense? <laughs> I mean, do I even have to explain? You guys know exactly what I'm about to say. Offensive line was horrible. We need an offensive line. 
and this just makes sense. Now, I, like I said, I think it's unlikely that we sign him, but it's definitely worth a shot. But I'm pretty sure I've said all I need to say, so I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, comment your opinions. I want to know exactly what you guys are thinking, and if you guys haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel for more amazing Buffalo Bills content. But I'm going to get out of here, so I'll see you guys next time. Go Bills, God bless, and peace.